Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. So, this video I got um, an unboxing for you guys. So, um, this unboxing, um, I have this Hoover, um, Hoover T-Series bagged. As you can see, um, right here, I don't know if you can, I don't know if what you guys can see, but here it is. Um, basically this is a new and improved, um, this is supposedly, um, an improved version of the, uh, Tempo, which they actually just discontinued that not too long ago, and they're actually getting ready to discontinue this. There's only, I heard there's only like 300 of these things left, so, yeah, if you guys want, um, so if, if you'd like to have this model in your collection, um, or if you're just interested in it, I would say get it now while you can because I'm, I'm actually very lucky to have this machine here the place I got it from um, a vacuum shop I went to yesterday this was actually the last one so yeah and <laughs> it's kind of funny how it says right up there I don't know if you can see but it says two year warranty which is pretty funny actually because um, I don't know if, how um I don't know how long that will last because, um, because of, like I said, they might be discontinuing it, so, let's see on the box, um, there's the Hoover logo, there, it says wind tunnel, bagged upright, exclusive wind tunnel 2 technology lifts and removes surface debris and deep down embedded dirt, uh, tech, or no, that's in different language, um, and as you can see there it has HEPA media filter so yeah and also this one here actually has a headlight too which is pretty cool and on the side here it says packed with powerful bagged performance um, right back here it just kind of tells you some features and also it shows the well it shows the wind tunnel technology there and it shows the attachments um, so you get a dusting brush, crevice tool, and turbo brush, um, and on the side here, it's basically the same, um, I already showed that, so, yeah, um, now, the, t the Tempo, um, was a machine that, um, was actually, um, was actually out for actually a pretty long time um and it went all over the place actually because first um it first came out when um when maytag um when the machine still had maytag motors in the late 90s early 2000s um and then after that it um it got it got replaced by a tti motor and um for a while they um they had a bag check indicator and a um headlight whereas on the later models um of the tempo that they sold they actually they actually dropped the headlight and the bag check indicator and they basically cheapened it so yeah um which i i never got a the tempo when it was around I still regret that. I wish I got it, um, but never mind. Um, so the first thing to come out is looks like the handle, and now there is no question that this is um, brand new, never been taken out of the box. As you can see here um, how shiny that is, and as you can see there's the on and off button. Very nice, solid handle. So that's good. Um, next thing to come out is, let's see, looks like a, a bag of tools and the instruction book. So let's see what's in there. So um, you get the instruction book as you can see here which I would imagine 
Yeah, um, it has different languages in it. That's why it's rather um, long. Next thing you get is um, a tool caddy, looks like, and um, a dusting brush with. Uh, they're not. Um, the bristles are decent, but they're they're not the softest. Um, so I wouldn't use it on anything too delicate. And the next thing to come out is, looks like the turbo brush right here, which is clear, kind of like my wind tunnel, um, self-propelled wind tunnel, the 100th anniversary edition, which I never made a video of. But the turbo brush looks about, looks exactly the same actually. Uh, and let's see what else. I think actually the last thing um, to come out is the machine itself. I think I pretty much got everything out. So, yeah. Come on out. Alright. So, here she be. Um, oh, and also here's a crevice tool, very long crevice tool, and a very short extension tube, which, yes, that plugs on the end there, and as you can see there, you actually get a decent length, um, so yeah, and let's just undo this plastic piece here. And, oh, here's the bag door, which is stuck, looks like it's stuck in the inside there. How does that come out? There we go. Toss that. And, here's what she looks like. Um, and yes, this does take the Hoover type Y bag. This is actually a cloth um, HEPA bag. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And let's see if I can actually get you guys a bit closer. Um, so, yeah. And let's see, why is this not? I should, um, and yes, it does have the um, headlight there, which I look forward to that. I don't know why that's not closing. Oh, maybe that. Is that supposed to come down, maybe? Uh, let's try it again. Huh. I don't know why that's not closing. put it together and I'll figure that out later and moving on the back here you get um, the a hose which has a little button here to release it and that's actually pr um, pretty short but it's actually very stretchy as you can see so looks like it might um, get a good length up oh. And here's a little tag. It, um, just, there's, as you can see there, it just says um, attention. It tells you how to put the handle on, which you can see. And I forgot uh, the screw, a screwdriver, so I'm going to have to go get that. But before I do, as you can see here, this on and off switch, you can see um, there's a little plug here on the bottom, as you can see um, there, and that is going to plug into a little plug down here, 
So to do that, you just click it down in there, and then just put that screw in to tighten down that screw here, which um, this is actually a pretty long screw. So, oh wait a minute, there we go. So just tighten that down and. Now the handle is nice and solid. To put the hose on, you just um, loop it over the tool caddy here. And then you want to um, line this part in here and, until it clicks in there. Alright, so now on the side here, you take the extension wand and crevice tool and put that inside there and then line up that and snap it in place. On the tool caddy um, will go the or the turbo brush will attach on there like so. So just snap it in place. Um, actually I put it on wrong didn't I? Try it again. There we go. And just snap it in there like so. Alright, and now in the back here, there's a little holder for your dusting brush. So just obviously snap, just um, put it down in there like so. And there you go. Alright, so I now figured out how this back door goes. Uh, the handle needed to be attached, as you see there, which it is, and now it just snaps in place like so. Alright, so here is the Hoover bagged wind tunnel T-Series all assembled. Um, now this is the next day by the way, so yeah, um, I just never turned on the camera last night, but I have not turned the machine on yet, so here it is after it's all been assembled. Um, and now, I noticed some slight damage last night. As you can see, there's a little bit of scratching right there in the, the little clear window for the brush roll, but I don't think there's much I can really do about that. I could try and get that out, but there's a possibility that might get worse over time, or that might get worse if I mess with it, so I might just leave it like that. Um, got a nice clear window here. Um, got here a height adjustment, so you have Right now, they set it on low in the factory, but you've got low for low slash um, hard floor all the way up to high pile carpet. But I think, um, I think I'll leave it on either there or there. Um, I'll test that out because I tend to leave my machines on, on lower settings because my carpet in my house is rather short piled as you can see there so I find the machines do a much better job there so um one nice thing you don't see on machines nowadays but they kept on this machine um is a headlight and actually right here is a little carrying handle uh, right up there so that's um interesting and right here on the side it says wind tunnel bag t-series there's a very nice Hoover logo, and also um, there's a little handle here, um, which forms the carry handle of the machine itself. So, um, yeah, and then up here you get on off switch, um, turbo brush, which I'm sure you guys know what that looks like. Um, I will say for for a newer. Um, for our new, newer made in China, um, Hoover, this machine actually seems to be pretty good quality. Uh, I mean, that's a little squishy there, and right up here. Seems um, not too bad, actually. Um, but anyway, this handle does form the carry handle. And right here, it's a little indicator if there's a restriction. Um, if there's a restriction in the system or anything. And right here is the is a brush wool shut off, so you can actually shut off the brush wool when you go on carpet or hard floors, which is pretty nice. 
Um, and um, back here is just a cord and the hose and a little dusting brush hidden back there. And to use the hose, you just press that little button. And then it comes out. And as you can see here, um, the hose goes from there and it ends right there. So it's not the long, um, it's not very long. You're not going to get up a whole lot of stairs with it, but I guess it's good for most above floor cleaning, but you're not going to get, like I said, um, up very many stairs. And that obviously just loops around the caddy and then just plugs down in the air path there. Um, oh, and right here is the rating sticker. So, um, it's model UH30300, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 12 amps, serial number XH20.0. Um, um, or 12.0 uh, made in China and yeah um, and I'll just spin the machine over and now to get, um, to get access to the bag you press this little button here and it comes out and right here is um it takes a hoover type y bag as you can see there so i'm assuming um i'm not going to take it off right now because i only have one hand because i'm obviously recording but it um, looks like you just press that and then you slide it out which i'm not going to mess with that but they included a um, hoover type y hefe bag which is interesting i've actually never tried a hefe bag before so that's going to be cool um, right inside there is the little filter, which, um, which basically that's, that's so that nothing gets into the bag, or into the motor if the bag ever was to explode. Um, so that's pretty cool. And, yes, it's a piece of foam. You can, um, looks, I think you can wash this, actually, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can, probably, and right down there, you can't really see it, but it's the motor for the machine. And so that just closes uh, like so. And right inside here is a little fil uh, another little filter, which you just um, slide it out. I'm assuming. Yes, that's it. And it's just another piece of foam. I don't think this is not a HEPA filter. So yeah, this you can also wash that as well. Um, and that is very similar to the tempo, how it pulls out. Um, and now I guess I'll snap this back in place really quick. There we go, that's it. Um, what else? Oh. On the side here is the crevice tool and extension one, which is inside here. So you can see you get a very short extension one. And you only get one of these on this model. On the Tempo you got two full size ones, so that's a little disadvantage. And also you get um, a short little crevice, or a nice long crevice tool actually, as you can see there. And that plugs on the end um, of the extension one, like this. And you can see there, that's actually how long it gets. So, I mean, I guess it gets decently long. So, to put it back in, you just slide it and store it on the side, like that. And uh, just to see what else we got here. So, here's the brush full. Um, very nice, actually. Bristles are actually pretty stiff, and this brush wool here seems seems actually I don't know what it's made of, but it feels nice. And you can see there it's on. There's a lot. There's like two rows of brushes on here, so this machine's gonna do a very good job. I'm thinking. 
as you can see the, 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 on the, um, the brushes are on these raised sort of like beater um, things kind of very similar to like the, the Hoover beater bar except on both si on both rows there are bristles whereas on the beater bar it would have one row of bristles and one row of just um, metal but this one here is both bristles and you can see there you get a there's the air path here which goes to the nozzle there and as you can see there that air path is actually pretty um, pretty big actually so that's pretty good and right here is the belt guard um, and I believe you can actually remove this um, without any tools I'm pretty sure unlock you just slide it like that and then just twist that and then the base comes out like so and there's the belt which you can see there so there's kind of how everything works and there's the base plate which now to put it back in you just, just lock it up like that and click that in there and on the side here um, actually there you, you can get a better look you can see we've got two big wheels here and two for, um, wheels for the height adjustment which these wheels actually feel like they're rubber, so that's which is pretty good. So, yeah. Um, oh, and right there it tells you how to remove the base um, bolt, which I just showed that. And, so, yeah. Just pick it up. There we go. So, um,. And, oh, now one thing I just noticed is that it, there's only one setting for when you drop down the nozzle. So as you can see here, when you press it down like that, um, as you can see, it raises the nozzle, but you can't, but I just noticed if you, when you press it again, it doesn't go any lower. So that's about as low as you go there, as you can see. So I won't, um, so I think that's pretty much it. Um. I'm not going to switch it on for this video, just because it's already gone on for a little too long, so, yeah. But, um, I will make another, um, video of it in the future running, and I'll do a little pickup demonstration, so, yeah. So, thanks for watching, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos to come, but until then, bye for now.